Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to another in our continuing series of uh, updates and briefs about the markets. This is uh, your host, Seth Julian, welcoming you to a uh, quick overview of what's happening. And we're going to start off by looking at these indices. Um, they're all down, this, and, and by a serious amount. And if we take the, the NASDAQ, which has been the best performer so far, and we look at this, <laughs> this is a, a, an hourly chart. It's just been down since uh, the 13th of October. Uh, it, we're in a downtrend. The markets are clearly getting hip to the idea that um, the pandemic is worsening at a tremendous rate. Uh, this is the uh, European Center for Disease Control chart. Uh, most of the countries, the countries in yellow and red are doing the better. And these are the ones that are obviously the, have had experience dealing with pandemics before. They're, they're, they're out of it. They're, the Chinese are, are, are getting back to business. The Asian economies are up, up, up and running again. They're shipping, they're buying. Um, the Western world, however, is in deep, deep trouble and getting very, very, very much worse. Um, if you saw pictures uh, on the news, uh, northern Italy has had to clamp down very, very uh, stringently, and uh, there are protests everywhere in northern Italy, uh, serious protests, you know, police, riot gear, tear gas to works. Uh, there's fatigue. There's fatigue with these new lockdown procedures. The disease is, 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 is swelling back with a vengeance, and the markets are showing it. So if you look at the DJXX today, uh, this was in today's signals, and it's still falling. That, that trade is going to be good for some time. It may be very likely that if we take a look at the broad S&P 500, which has also been in a free fall since about the 12th, this is the most, this is steep, this is serious. It's on fairly good volume. So, um, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. So that um, this is likely to continue for some time. And this, we believe, is, is based on the, the overall um, settling in of the idea that this pandemic is not going to go away. There's no V shape, the U shape, W shape. We're into serious trouble and it's going to be going down and people are selling off. And interestingly, gold has not been that reactive, um, although this is the spot gold price that we quote. We'll give you the dailies on that. It's been holding fairly steady in the nineteen hundred dollar range. Now that's to after, that's after which you know it, it rose from the twelve hundred fourteen hundred dollar range uh, when when uh, the pandemic struck and va voom. So okay, so it's you know it's not a helium balloon. It, nothing rises forever, and um, so it's leveled off. But it's leveled off in the nineteen hundreds between nineteen hundred and two thousand. As things get worse, it's it's, it's hovering at its fifty day and uh, twenty and twenty day moving average. But it's uh, the two hundred day moving average is moving up. Once these start to converge here, you're likely to see further upward pressure. But as, as things get worse, you're likely to see further upward pressure. So gold is holding steady, but there's, there's, there's room to move because we're in a new neighborhood with gold. The other thing I want to point out to you today of, of maximum importance is, of course, this. The, uh, the <laughs> this is when this morning signals were placed. Now it's at 829. Uh, buy, buy the dollar, the dollar lira. The lira is weakening by, by orders of magnitude. This is uh, uh, Sultan Erdogan's nightmare come true. It's out of control. Uh, it's going to have to give at some point, but in the meantime, in the meantime, it's it's just going up, up, up. It's it's, it's above every moving average. The volumes are tremendous and growing. Um, uh, there's just you know little bad that you could say about this trade, other than don't miss out on it. So the Turkish lira is weakening. The central bank is under tremendous pressure. Uh, at some point, uh, he'll have to buckle, um, and so these, you know, uh, by the way, uh, and, and so these, 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 these trades uh, selling the, you know, uh, weakening Turkish lira uh, versus the dollar are, well, they speak for themselves, okay? These, these indicate the signals that we've sent out of late, and they're all pretty much uh, money-making trades, so that's the last thing we want to point out. So, ladies and gentlemen, that'll do it for today. Um, the markets are panicking. The serious selling off around the world in the low in in in, in full digits percentages. It's uh, we'll just take a quick uh, recap again of the of the markets just to to, to show you again. Um, the markets are falling everywhere. These are all one hour charts. 
Let's go back to yesterday. Oh, this is the dollar index, of course. This is inverse. This shows that the dollar is gaining strength. Um, but they're all down, every single last one of them. Some are taking huge gaps on the way down. The DJX, the DAX, uh, the, the uh, uh, Milan are gapping down, which is a, here, there's a gap here on the, uh, on the Amsterdam. So uh, when things gap down, that here's a big gap on the uh, 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 Shanghai Composite, uh, excuse me, the Singapore. So uh, things are going down and, and, and at a rapid clip. So, and of course, the Turkish lira <clears throat> battle of the central banks against the traders, uh, the traders are going to win, bank, uh, uh, go with that trade. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that'll be it for, for now. Um, see you soon. Bye-bye for now.